right, guys, I'm Steve Zorgos. I'm here with Norman Reedus, the star of the film Air. Uh, dude, you gotta tell me how you got involved in this. I'm sure it has nothing to do with Robert Kirkman at all or Walking Dead whatsoever. It has a, everything to do with Robert Kirkman. <laughs> right. Yeah, he called me right after we, uh, he, he called me right after we were about to wrap last year, and uh, he said, hey, I wanna talk to you, do you have a minute? And I was thinking like, oh God, here comes the call. I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get eaten by a zombie. And then, um, <laughs> And he said, you know, I have a, a script. Can you read a script? And, uh, and I really liked the script. And uh, I just, I really liked everyone involved. And, you know, the thing is when you do a film with somebody like Robert, who you've been working with for a long time, so you already know uh, its quality, you know, and he and Dave Alpert will do everything they can to make it the best uh, piece of material they can. So uh, it was, I, I felt very comfortable going into it. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. And so, and you love the script, obviously. Like, you read this great. thing. Like, what really grabbed you about it? Was it kind of like the post apocalyptic? Because this isn't your no. first apocalypse scenario. Right, you've no. Been in. It, it wasn't that. It was the fact that it felt so claustrophobic. And, um, you know, that, that was one of the notes. Uh, uh, me and both my uh, my manager, we both we have to keep it as claustrophobic as possible because you, re you, you read it and you, it made you uncomfortable. And, those type of things on paper uh, sometimes don't translate to the final product. So, but I could tell that's where we're, everyone's head was at. So, uh, it was that. It was that. It was a, a feeling of uh, I kept flipping the pages, being uncomfortable, you know, and that I would assume would translate into something that would give that same sort of feel to the audience. What was it like <laughs> your relationship with your co-star in the film? And like, what, what was that like? Did you guys lock yourselves up in a room to kind of get into the role or anything like that? Or No, uh, we got on really, really well. I mean, the thing about Jaiman is I, I'd seen some films he was he was he had done before and I, I love him as an actor, but he's a, he's a fun guy and you know, we'd sit in the, you know, I suffocated in the film during a portion of it so I have these purple capillaries sticking out of my face. <laughs> right. and, had this shade of purple going on, and um, we'd be sitting in the makeup trailers, and you know they'd be making me purple. And I'd look over at Jimon, and there's this big, good-looking guy over there, and <laughs> they're making him even better looking. And I'd be like, "This is bullshit. Like, <laughs> I'll give you a hundred dollars to mess him up a little bit." And then, and then we did this one scene, and uh, I'm screaming at him, and I was like, "You know what? Hold your foot like this. I'm, just, I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick you. I'm gonna like kick your, the bottom of your foot." And he's like, "All right." He puts his foot like this, and I, uh, I'm screaming at him, kicking his foot, and I broke my toe. Yeah. Holy not God. not only is he better looking than me, he's like hard as a rock. So I'm like, I'll kill you, ow, 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 and I had to go to the emergency room. Uh, yeah, and and yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love so that. don't do movies with Jimon. You know do, what I mean? Unless yeah. you're willing to fight against yeah. the Incredible Hulk and be or completely comparable. dwarfed in the good looking department. Yeah. 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 yeah he's cool though. I, I liked him a lot. So with the director of the movie, uh, Christian, so he he like worked on Red Dead Redemption and yeah. all these cool video games and stuff. Did you play any of those? Have you known about those at least? Um, I'd heard of that one because I have a son, but uh, I hadn't played it. But he, he once I started talking to Christian, and the thing with this film is there's so many. Uh, things you have to keep track of. I mean, there's, you know, this this shuts this, which shuts the air there, and the air comes down here, and you have to get to this spot, and the, all these clocks going off, and it was they all had, you know, they all meant something. And a lot of uh, a, a lot of dialogue that I, you know, I wouldn't have understood unless he was standing there explaining it to me. Right. But he's got this. Uh, he reminds me of Guillermo del Toro, and uh, Guillermo gave me my first film, and I did another film with him, but. There's this sort of uh, infectious quality to, to both of them where they're behind the monitor. I remember Guillermo used to uh, be behind the monitor during fight scenes and be like, pew, 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 you know, and, and that sort of energy just sort of brings everybody uh, up to their level of enthusiasm. And, and, and Christian has that same uh, vibe about him you know that's awesome yeah that it, was, it was really so cool, cool. Yeah. the film oh. comes out august 14th guys go out and see it it's gonna be on vod and in theaters dude so awesome yeah talking nice to, to you. you man really yeah. excited love yeah. the movie you did an amazing job guys oh, go thanks. see this movie you're gonna regret it you're not gonna want to not see it think yeah. about that for a little while <laughs> that confused me <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you man. nice to meet you dude. yeah pleasure so man. cool